Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be looking at the PlayStation DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter. Um, basically this is a little USB stick that you plug into your PC or Mac so that you can stream your PlayStation 4 to your computer. Um, the main reason I got this was that my PS4 is in my living room out there and I want to be able to play it in my bedroom and I already have a uh, PC set up in here so that I could watch movies and stuff um, so I'm gonna be testing it on my little mini PC this is a Zotac PI 320 is the model um, I don't know if you can it's not even focusing whatever but it's a mini PC and it worries me there are no system requirements on this at all on the packaging other than PC and Mac and you can deduce that you need a USB port um, I assume the system requirements are pretty low though so we shall see I'm gonna oh no Oh, it's deteriorating. Oh, there we go. All right. So I got it out. This is what it looks like. It's it looks like a USB flash drive, sort of. It's a little bit bigger than you would normally think of. Got like a little PlayStation logo on it right there. It's really shiny and reflective. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, here we go. Instructions. Instructions fell out of the package. Blah, blah, blah. How to set it up. Let's see here. All right. So I got my computer up on the uh, desktop. And now I'm just going to take the device, plug it into one of the USB ports, and try to follow the directions, which aren't very clear. So you plug it in. All right, setting it up. All right, so it's set up, ready to go. So that means now in order to pair it with your device, look at the directions right here. Push it in. You're supposed to push it in until it starts flashing and gets into pairing mode. So I'm going to try that now. Oh, it does click. It clicks like a button when you do that. All right, now the light, there's a light on it and it's flashing. And I think that means I can pair my controller with it. Ta-da. Yeah, I got a solid light on my DualShock. That means it's paired, so that's good. Um, now, I need to actually go and get the PlayStation remote app from the web. It does the directions don't say anything about that. Here we go. Downloading the PC software. So obviously you have to read all of that the full agreement before you can uh, install it. All right, but it should be here. And I, I, I'm, I'm sure I have to set this up so that it'll connect to my PlayStation. So I may have to leave the room for a second to go do that. So now is the part where I have to go to the other room and get the code from my PlayStation 4, to, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just got my code from my PlayStation 4. Yeah, found it right away. Awesome, so now, just to test it, I got my PlayStation 4 controller here. Oh, 
it's it lost sync. It's damn it, Sony. Oh, so when you pair it, you can't just press the PlayStation button, which is what I thought. You have to press the share button over here on the left side of the pad and the PlayStation button at the same time. So I was doing it wrong. So I'm going to redo that. Hold the share button. And... Oh! Oh, I have control! I have control! Awesome. So... I guess let's try some Destiny 2. Will it run well if I make it full screen? Oh, look at it. Full screen. Nice. Okay, there's definitely some noticeable lag. It's not, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not too bad, though, so far. I do have this set up wired. So the PlayStation 4 is connected wired, and this computer that I'm streaming on is also connected wired. Just because I like that way better than Wi-Fi. So I didn't set up OBS. The reason you can't hear the game is I forgot to configure OBS to actually record the audio coming from that computer. So you can only hear me coming through the mic. I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty playable. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to do a raid. There's enough lag that if I did a raid, I don't think I'd be able to do it or nightfall or anything difficult anything that requires super twitchy reflexes probably wouldn't be very good i found that it is possible to change the resolution settings i'm gonna play around with this really quick i'm just gonna try changing up these settings to see if that helps at all and i'm gonna make it full screen Oh, still getting some video glitches. Ooh, getting really bad video glitches. All right, so what are my impressions of the PlayStation DualShock 4 wireless USB adapter? Um, it's pretty nifty. I'm pretty glad that I'll be able to play my PlayStation 4 in my room without having to move my PlayStation 4 around. I can just leave it uh, in the living room. But, and I also think it's weird, I've never had a USB drive that when you push it in to the USB, it acts as a button. Like, you could hear it clicking. Let me put it by the mic. So, I don't know. I thought that's interesting. But yeah, I think it's pretty nifty. I'm excited I no longer have to move my PlayStation 4 back and forth. I can just play on my computer in my room. So thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next time.